May, and it may in fact evolve from, you know, from season to season. The wardrobes are original to the house. Uh, I guess custom built in 1950 and uh, are the, what I call the original Ikea. You know, the... Uh, <laughs> I mean, they're pretty swanky. But we for wanted to. Uh, we to wanted to make sure that we kept them. as much of the original house personality as we, you know, as we could. We saw this tile in a renovation in Houston, Texas, and we tracked down the um, contractor, found out where he got the tile, and we we just basically copied it. We do. Yeah. That's, and uh, the flooring we. Uh, put down tiled uh, squares. This this one was uh, uh, a theme that Diane found on uh, uh, In Dwell magazine. She tracked the tile down and uh, uh, one, one of the, the more common uh, the base color for the entire house is white. In the dining room, uh, of course there was the wall there and then there were a couple of uh, what do you, what do you call it? China closets built in and either Oh, either okay. corner, and there was a wall that came out partially here. The house is a flat roof, with the exception of this little mid, mid area, and it's a butterfly, which is kind of, a, instead of this, it's a reverse angle, so that the walls are higher to let in more light. Uh, our contractor had a great stonemason who came out and performed a surgery on it, opened it up, made it larger than the original. So. What you're looking at really are two fireplaces back to back, but open, uh, opened in the middle. And uh, uh, Diane and I are arguing over what this room is now. I call it the gentleman's lounge, but that's really not. It's a bar. Not everybody has <laughs> voted on that. Um, it's, it's still in progress, but. Yeah, there was a uh, bookcase over in this corner. And uh, we, we had from, uh, uh, a few years, a few years back, uh, Ruth Chris uh, bar replaced their bar top, and I said, "What are you going to do with that bar top?" Because Diane and I had eaten dinner on the, that corner right there for years, several years, in fact. And um, they said, "Well, we're going to throw it away." So I said, "Well, we want it." He said, well, I'll be here at one o'clock in the morning and you can have it. So we, friend and I went, went over and took it out. And this is just a little small section of it. It was actually about 22 feet long. We have the other pieces, but we don't have a house big enough for the bar that big. So um, the, uh, we kept the, uh, the same finish on the bar top where you, you can see the outline where the hot plates uh, were, uh, had, had burned, burned the finish. So, our plan is to uh, finish that in a marine varnish and then have some friends, waiters and bartenders that we met over the years come over and sign that bar top for us. And so we have a little piece of uh, our personal history and Memphis history, right? So the unique thing about what you don't see in a lot of sectionals is we made it where it's interactive, where it has open areas too. So if I want to talk to somebody here, um, so it's not, it's purposely not enclosed all the way around. Um, okay. Yeah. I could so, see it's so like, uh, two, would be two like traditional big, couches right. with a so, big, big ottoman. right. Big ottoman. And we've had them about every, pretty much every, uh, arrangement. This is kind of pulling from my hospitality side mm -hmm. of my, um, career, but you know, I, I could just see Carl and Diane sitting here, they're, you know, with their laptops, their iPads and having coffee in the morning. So I've always called these the fireside chairs. So the whole thought here, we kind of played off this um, cantilever that started at the hood and mm -hmm. kind of wanted to keep the cantilever and the openness, the feel, this, the light fixture, and then the table itself, that it just sort of had this floating, open feeling. And the lines, as Carl spoke to earlier, we kind of wanted to keep the horizontal lines continue throughout um, the space and to to the degree that even with the chair carrying the stainless and the horizontal band and just a little just a little accent of uniqueness to the so so what is it oh it's a oh wow 
And you, you designed that. Well, I knew that I wanted pop. I didn't want to see a duplex outlet. I think those are, they're kind of ugly. So I, so. What I love about these two dishwashers, I don't know if we mentioned that. There's a dishwasher there? There are two, and when they're, and when, they're when everything's clean, they just, they just open like that much to let you know. They, they just pop me. I have love the melee. Yeah. I wasn't sure about it. That's, that's awesome. some the, signal. The uh -huh. kitchen designer uh, also helped us with all of the uh, all the appliances. Okay. And they were there are only a couple of styles that the cabinetry fits with. So. Uh -huh. we, so this is like a hidden door. So that you have to tell me that that is a dishwasher. W what else is hidden? We have some hidden drawers. Um, <laughs> if you open some of these drawers, this is just under the sink. But if you open some of the drawers, you have. The drawers are deep, so mm -hmm. you've got another drawer. Okay. Wow. Another it's all, so in other words, you almost have it as if the the cabinetry is, or the the unit is floating. Right. Mm -hmm. and right. Then right. What, um, when this lights up with the sensor, which it may not be plugged in now, this puts a nice glow and it gives you, so you can see where lights you're going. your way to oh, uh, to the restroom if you should go in the middle of the night. Who does yeah. that? So, <laughs> so you got. In one enclosure, you got two showers, a bath, and what else? You got a rain shower in the middle. Steam unit. And two, two steam units. The room was so big, we had to put two in. And uh, I can probably turn that on. Okay. It'll take a couple of, couple of three minutes to turn. And uh, we do have shades, but normally when uh, when you turn on the hot water and the steam, everything fogs up, so you're mm -hmm. pretty much private. How's it been like living here? Diane says it's like being on vacation to her. Like we're we've we've moved, we've we've gone on vacation and we didn't come back. 